Thanks to Linode for sponsoring this SciShow video. For all things Linode, you can go to linode.com slash scishow. That link will give you a $100 60-day credit on a new Linode account. In 2018, a group of scientists in Germany announced that they had seen something truly weird after shining a black light on a chameleon. They observed a constellation of glowing blue speckles on the chameleon's head without a clear source for that light. The researchers soon realized the dots were tiny bones on the chameleon's skull that fluoresced or glowed brightly enough to be seen through their skin. And it turns out, all bones fluoresce when hit with black light, even yours. See, objects that fluoresce aren't actually generating their own light. What you're seeing is one wavelength of radiation being absorbed and then rapidly re-radiated at a different wavelength. Bones are a mixture of mainly collagen and calcium phosphate. By sheer coincidence, both of these tissues happen to fluoresce under ultraviolet light, especially the collagen, so all bones can fluoresce under a black light. But while bones are naturally fluorescent, they are not the strongest fluorescers. This is why the bones in our bodies are not visible through our skin. The light they radiate isn't bright enough to fluoresce through the flesh that's covering them. Which, in my opinion, is a pretty good thing, but people who go to raves might disagree. Until recently, the only scientists who really cared about this property of bones were archaeologists and forensic scientists, because UV lights can help them find pieces of bone more easily. Outside of those circles, the fact that bones can glow hadn't really mattered to many other biologists. That is, until those German German scientists saw the light, so to speak. And to be clear, animals using fluorescence isn't all that rare. There's an abundance of sometimes cute and sometimes terrifying marine and terrestrial animals that do it. However, those species usually only fluoresce from their external tissues, like the cuticles, skin, or feathers. So these chameleons were the first animals we had observed who let their bones shine through. And they do it in a pretty neat way. They have little bones called tubercles that sit just 20 to 25 micrometers below the outermost layer of skin, which is thin enough for the fluorescent light to shine through. And their skin also acts as a filter to make the light glow even bluer, which suggests that the ability for for other chameleons to see the bones through their skin is not an accident. Plus, it turns out this isn't even that rare for chameleons. We now know that there are lots of species of chameleons that have glowy tubercles. In general, chameleons aren't known for having big heads with bright colors and funky bones, so their light glowing bones fit right in with their other methods of showing off to each other. But what's really wild is that these bright bones have since been observed in more animals besides chameleons. As we talked about on our sister channel Bizarre Beasts, the teeny clumsy frogs called pumpkin toadlets have extra thin sections of skin on their head and back, which allow their luminous bones to shine through. But why would two different animal groups evolve such a weirdly specific thing? Well, the most likely hypothesis seems to be that they use it for communication of many sorts. Territorial marking, mating, and species differentiation are all possible explanations. We don't know how these two vertebrate groups seem to have taken advantage of this intrinsic property of their bones in a way that no other animals have, despite how common other mechanisms of fluorescence are in the animal kingdom. That said, researchers speculate these chameleons and toadlets aren't alone in this phenomenon, and this discovery could open up the doors to the recognition of widespread fluorescence as a communication method in many other creatures. And if we're only just catching on to this potentially widespread method of animal communication after we've known that bones are capable of fluorescing since as far back as the 60s, who's to say that other neat animal adaptations aren't hiding in broad daylight. Or rather, broad black light. Unfortunately, we cannot communicate with our bones like those chameleons and toadlets, but we can communicate with each other using Linode's tools. Whether you are communicating grades to your students, your research data to another scientist, or your company's value proposition to investors, Linode has services to facilitate all of that communication. Linode is a cloud computing company from Akamai and the sponsor of this SciShow video. They power the internet by providing storage space, databases, analytics, and more to you or your company worldwide. And they provide tons of tutorials to communicate with you about how to use their services in innovative ways, like hosting a grading platform or a company website. To explore all of Linode's tools, you can click on the link in the description or head to linode.com slash scishow. That link will give you a $100 60-day credit on a new Linode account. Thanks for trusting us to always be communicating cool science with you and to communicate savings from sponsors with you.